you have been listening the story from other communities. Mm. We have to campaign as also to put platform to tell our story to the community. Every family should have a company. Every family should start a corporation. The world is run by families. When you have different views, you become a war. You have been a war within each other for a long period of times. And I know there's family who have been having that situation where a daughter married somebody different background though. And the father of the mother said, no, we don't call that wedding because he didn't follow the things there. Those small things tear apart family. We shouldn't be feared to put our story out there. That is another thing. We have a things most African we have. We have fear to put our, st our stories out there. Because our story is unique. God has created something. Your journey is your journey. We raise three kids. Your three kids, you have different journey and you have been raised in this Western world. Mm -hmm. How is that? Welcome back to the Rabasha Family Podcast. Now we have another lovely episode for you guys. As you can see here, a new setting. Please guys, make sure you subscribe to the podcast channel on our YouTube audio platforms. We are everywhere and we are consistent and excited to bring you guys some more value content. So dad, welcome back to another episode. Yeah, thank you, Pete. And as always, we are so excited when we start a new, new episode. We bring you to share. So now today we're able to talk about how all this new venture in the business for podcast, how it started. And uh, so I'm going to start. So, and uh, everything started, I can start the story, how we think everything, how it changed. And, and this is, is your business good to go to do with uh, the COVID period. So for me, everything's the change to think, I think was during the, the COVID. So when we started COVID and everybody was scared, everything need know what, everything to do. And it was a lot of uh, pressure to everyone, family, uh, every job, everything has stopped and now the fear kick in in people's life. So, and when the fear kicking, everybody do different thinking and everybody do different things. And I remember when we started like a week, me and mom used to drink every day, doing things there. And something clicked in the store and said, ah, no, you can't do that. So you have to look something to do. And so what I did, and I went at Google and I said, what can you do when you have free time? And the Google went, bring it. He said, you can do, educate yourself, mm. and then you look after your, your health. So those two things came up straight away. They said, okay, yes, health and educate yourself. And I was looking what else I can do, what education I can do. And somehow I followed up to do with um, social media uh, marketing. And I Googled and look, and then I found one courses. I was going to do that. And then I started doing the courses. And then, and then it comes again, the question for your health. So you see, sometimes people say, oh, you have to look after your health first. But again, you have to educate yourself. How are you going to look after your health? Mm. It's because we didn't know, we told drinking is part of health, but it's different. No, drinking is not part of health. So. Now I learned, so now when I was learning, they said, we can go for gym, can go for walk, can go honey. So it was also a list of things there. And I remember when I started, I chose to go for run. But when I was going to run, and I was run from here, Pleasant Avenue into down, I felt so tired, I felt pain. You know, my body was aching. And I said, no, 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 this is love can be fine. And then later, the next day, I said, I done walking. So now, when I did walking, mm. and starts feeling more comfortable now. Mm. So now I start walking. And then I said, when I did the walking, so the life changed. So now that's where now I start walking, the duty, because you know what? 
go for work and I can, I do the course for social media marketing. And then that's where later when I was going, I had created BTS for social media as also platform for the business for marketing, because is that the course I was doing it? Why uh, ETS? What does ETS mean? So ETS mean it, it's just again back, back, back home. So my father, the business used to have it was ETS. ETS in French mean establishment. 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 So it was the establishment of Rubasha. Hey, so that was our home business. So that that name came in at ETS, the import there. So to put there is just bringing the the family history again. So that is why I chose that. And then as they say ETS Rubasha Media. And then we registered it. Everything there. And I remember that time you were in Europe. So after registering, after keep doing the course, looking through the course, and now I remember when you are in Europe, also I contacted you. And I said, Eve, I have this idea, if also can you be part of it? And that is why I send you the course to do the, mm -hmm. the social media marketing. See, our mind was keep telling me that we share this creepy good for on the family and then I share and then also doing the course also we do the course and then also the business comes back and then the work comes what what made you want to like why what made you tell me about it so the, the reason I think about it it was you also the, the way the passion you have then the way you talk and and because always I knew you are following one dreams, I have one passion. And then after that passion, I was going to think this is another opportunity so we can go in. This is a new venture we can go in for families. So that, that is how business we created through the families. So you have an idea, you pass on and then you yourself, you decide if that thing was good for you. And actually, you're enjoying it and you like it. So that was so that a good no, that, to I remember when you first told me about it. Actually, I was in Portland. Uh, that was the first call you ever told me about the Affluent Academy by Jordan Pladen. And um, yeah, like I, I looked into it and I said, you know what? This is a good idea. This is something, of course, I play football. I love my football, but... Outside of football, this I have free time. I have things that I can do. And, you know, in that mindset of you can be an athlete and also an entrepreneur and, and start your own business. And so I was into it. I did the whole course. I found it interesting. And I started it. I remember in Sweden, I was going and emailing. I was so ambitious about it. Um, obviously, it didn't pan out the way I wanted it to or the way I think. Because as I got into it, I started to think, you know what? This is not for me. But I think what's important about you bringing it up, it was a seed was planted. A very big seed was planted in that entrepreneurial journey of, okay, we can start something. And you you mentioned the family name, ETS for Basham Media. We, we, we established it. So fast forward, I come now to Australia. We're living here. And let's talk about how did we start this podcast? Yeah. So even, even before that, also the other things, when I was seeing me, uh, Jordan Plata talking, the way he was talking, he had, you know, he teaches his cat. I will say, wow, this guy talk like Eve. You know, the way he talk, I knew that it could be good for you. And now I, every day I can see it now. So now you see, remember now in Europe and then you come back home to Australia. So everything's there. So now because you see that everything was so connected. So the social media marketing, the course, the exposure we get from that business, it keep coming to us and our ideas. It keep taking there. So now, because when I was going for a walk, always I have to have something to motivate you. So that is the change for me in my life. So there I said, this new technology, this new venture, especially Google, YouTube, 
it's game changer. It's powerful. It's powerful for powerful. Life, for people. We have to wake up to think about it. So I was every morning go for walk with listening. First of all, I was listening another uh, motivation speaker called Jim Rohn. And he was talking about business and everything there. So every morning. So that is the change now. That is the things how to listening. And then later, keep going, I listen again, never go that. You see, sometimes when you're listening, and then you go to another one, and then you take another one, you get hooked on different things there. And there was a business, and then it was become believe, and you keep going. So because I continue for work, that time I go for work, I have to listen to something. And when you listen to something, it despair, it motivate you, it make you change, it make see you the world change straight away. So they, for me, the COVID period waking me up completely, mm -hmm. especially educational education and the, to know to social media to see the power from how how, how it is. Mm -hmm. So that why it change. And then when you come back, they say e. I've been motivated with these people. Can we do a podcast? And you see, when I say that, even if you are so excited, maybe have that things in your mind. Yeah. But, but, you know, I do, I do want to talk about that. But let's go a little bit back. What made you think to start a podcast? Like, that's what now I'm interested in. What came in, to clicked in your mind? Because I remember... When I came back, you, you had also seen me with content creation. So I came back, obviously, I'd, I'd been on YouTube, 20,000 subscribers by the time I came back. I was vlogging all the time. Cool, right? So what gave you that idea for a podcast? Yeah, so it, it's just listening every morning. Yes. So I'll be listening every morning, motivation, speaker. And then that way I say, look, if these people could motivate me, why us, we can do a podcast to motivate. Mm. So the, the, your mindset was, let's start something where I can, this, all these things I've been walking and talking and thinking in my mind, I can start to use a platform to start to talk. Yes. So let's do a podcast. Especially when I listen to Neville Goddard. Neville Goddard teach some things which I could understand it and I always had fear. But you see the times now I've been believing him, you know, I could say, wow, this is so powerful. How come horse we can shame at one? Mm. And then they said, through podcast is where you uh, can do that. You can do that. Yeah. And you see, when it, for me I was saying that, I thought I was not qualified to do that. I thought if I tell you, because you are young, you are more educated, you are more editing, it's going to be much easier for you to do that. Yeah. But you see, now I realize they won't keep learning keep doing it also become qualified because i've been learning yeah they, and i think it's so powerful because like the fact that you saw it those ways of like this is a way i can motivate people like i'm doing all these things and i'm telling it to my children you know these like you know you are a god and all these things that i've learned over the past years but now let's actually start to get this out to the world so i'll never forget we we're here in the kitchen and then you said to me Eve, we should start a podcast. And when you said that, it clicked in my mind so quickly. And the reason why is because I started this content creation journey already. And before you had told me that, I, I'm always researching, I'm always trying to find new information. And a lot of content creators, YouTubers were saying the next big thing, the next wave in these next five to 10 years, a podcast. They were saying, if you need to start, and I was watching it, but I was like, well, maybe I can do that later. I don't really have that. So as soon as you said that, it clicked in my mind. And I said, you know what, Eve, he's right. And when you said that, it's just also crazy. Also, I think with my mentality as well, I'm the type of person, if we start something, let's do it. I don't have, let's do it. You want to, you know, it's very easy. Oh, we need this and be this. No, we started it. Yes, and, and then it says, that's how it connected. So it was connected through that Jordan Tractum course because you remember, so this business we're doing, we're in, it's marketing. You know, even when you do a uh, course, it was just marketing. And even this one is so still marketing. So that was, was no 
still connected. Everything was connected to it. So that is why when I told you, set away, connected to your mind, and then you make sense and then make it. Mm. And then at the same time, it's like, I've already had so much experience with cameras, with editing. So all the experience that I built up with, because this became a passion for me, you know, like, and that's why I was a little bit different with the social media marketing, which was cool. But uh, something like this editing and these cameras, this is what wakes me up as like football wakes me up in the morning. So with the podcast, I knew I would have that same motivation to let's go out and record. And for me, it was interesting because I've never been a host before, but I knew I love talking. I love being on the camera. So, yeah, it's just amazing. On this path of life that I'm on right now, I'm always thinking about the future. I'm always thinking about my financial future. How can I make important moves now that are gonna impact me when I'm older? This video is sponsored by Rise. Every time you get an income, you can set weekly, monthly, daily investment goals. You can put aside money while you're growing, while you're growing and seeking the best future for yourself. For me, what I do is every week, I have an amount and it puts the money into the stock market. It's all about compounded interest. The actions and the things that you do today are impacting your future. So for me to continually having that compounding interest of money being put away into the stock market, by the time I'm 30, 40, 50 years old, that amount is generational wealth. That is the power of compounded interest. It's always important to think about your future. Always important to think about tomorrow and 20 to 30, 40 years from now. What Rise has done with the Rubasha Family Podcast, they're gonna give you $5 once you sign up with the Rise app and you're approved. You can start your financial journey today. None of this is financial advice hit the link in the description get five dollars into your account once you're approved and get started on your investment journey today so that's how the journey started and guys this is the story and uh, this is now today we want to share after created now to guys you understand our objective because when you start this new venture it's spared this new it's more support we get it's more to inspire more people so the, the objective we have more to influence to motivate to inspire very our brother and our sisters so the, the reason we do this this is a family podcast rubasha family podcast because we are going to reach to you also each of our family. When you say a family, is mom and dad and children. And we go to inspire ourselves, we go to motivate ourselves through our experience. When you raise the kids as a parent, there is a journey you go through it. And each will have different journey. And my experience I have three boys. And each now they are teenagers and now they are men. Everyone has his own journey. That's what we go to share. And when you share this, it's a part to inspire to art. There is experience a mother and father will go through to raise kids when they are young and they become teenagers and they become men. So that journey is so hard. It's so challenging. But it's when you pass through it, that's how we have be qualified again to be sharing now, to see, wow, this is how we went through this. This is how we do that. Because each family have different journey. And that way, look, other community, they have been motivating each other through this for 18 centuries. Do you know when I listen, I never go that. His teaching was 1930. So I'm not sure in Africa, 1930, we have even recording like those they were recording. So that will be listening. It's generation to the family. So that is what we want to influence. I want to call upon my brothers, my sisters, uncle, aunties, to come to this platform to share what our experience is, especially as Africans. We have to go to this business. We have to go to this new venture to motivate each other. And you know, we motivate each other, we create a good life in the community. And when you create a good life community, is also create a good life individual. 
Mm-hmm. And you remember, everything had to come first from the family. So, in the family, the father, the mother, we inspire ourselves and we inspire our children. And to inspire each other is so hard because hard to start also for to understand, to change our belief. And if we change our belief, we don't need to agree the same belief, but we don't need to have to create conflicts between different belief. So that's why I found we have been having conflict because when you have a different belief, we don't support it. They have the other belief and they become enemy. So that thing had to, sub- to stop it. So that, that is why we motivate each other in a positive mind. Mm-hmm. And to motivate positive mind is just as I experience as in kids, our experience for children to say how they went through, to say how they be raised by their parents, and then we can learn from each other. And the other thing is because we have been going through this for a long period of times, that's how our life is going to change. So the other things which make also interesting to this podcast. Again, it's to make money, the extra money. But you see, there's no way in this you go to make money. No matter making money could become fast, but money can't become fast because you have fast to serve people. And so if we motivate people, if we inspire people, if we get people to follow us, of course the money you will be made. But to make money is how many people you serve, how the content you bring to people, how you make their people life to change. Mm. So that is simple there. So the influence and making money. Yeah. And see, when you make money, everything there. And the last one now is for the purpose of this one, it's the regas. What we're going to leave behind for the regas. So now, when I listen to this motivation speaker, these people believe it like, a hundred years, they left that, those tape, not this one you are recording or this thing, it was like a videotape, they left it, you know, imagine to listen to somebody who was saying 1930, and you are 20, 23, I think I walk from Africa and Rwanda, eh? I listened to somebody from America, and then changed my life completely. This is powerful, really. Mm-hmm. I was listening, never called that he was there in 1930. Mm-hmm. He was born in Barbados. He's a president, we don't know where it is. But to listen to him when I'm on Australian, sitting as African and changing my life completely, this is what I learned from it. This is the that we got to live. Mm-hmm. This is the key. And I'm asking my brothers, my friends, the people who grew up together, the people who went to school together, all we have families, all we have parents. Our parents work hard. Our parents had 10, 15 children. My father had 15 children. I remember other friends of my father, they had the same children, five kids, two, four, wife, and they build life, they build economy. But you see, we lost these things. We lost how they can tell the story, how they win that pressure, how they did that, how, do you understand? And that is long time ago. Yeah. In yeah. Africa. But they less kids, we grow up. Mm-hmm. We have great, great grand, my father, great grandchildren. Mm-hmm. They are there in Rwanda, the other people, they are Europe. So we don't want to miss that. Imagine, imagine if, they were able to tell their story, to do story. like document and, and say and what they went that through. Here. That's powerful. That's mm. powerful. Then what we're missing, my brother and my sister, let's be creative. Mm. Let's not we miss our experience. We are good to share our experience. I have many people who grow up together, the school together, they work together. We, we meet everything together. We should not be fear to put our story out there. 
Yes. Yeah. That is, and that the things we have are things most African have. We have fear to put our story. our stories out yeah. there because our story it's unique, powerful, and and so when we started this podcast, first episode, I remember I did with you. It was good. We we didn't have everything sorted out, but we started. We went out there, and my journey with this podcast was then I did talk to you, then I talked to mum, and mum had a powerful interview when she broke down and cried, so. I realized on then that's when I realized, okay, this is powerful because now she's telling her story. She's talking about things. Maybe she never opened up about things. I never even knew about mom is telling me live on the podcast. So now it's like a therapy session in a way. And then that and her story and that vulnerability is now helping other people. And, and I'm there putting it and putting it out on marketing out on social media. I'm like, wow. This is powerful. This is something our kids, kids, grandchildren can able to see. Then I'm speaking to other aunties, auntie one boy who came on the show and she's opening up about her story and what she went through. And then I'm seeing the reactions on social media. I'm like, wow, everyone has a story. Your neighbor has a story. Your uncle, your everyone has a story. And your story is amazing. Your story is authentic to you and your story is powerful to anyone out there. And that's when I realized the power of this podcast of like, not only can someone can come here and you as a father, you have told me things we never knew about. How did, how did you grow up with your father? And, you know, having that many kids, you know, so many things I've just learned about and seeing your experiences as a child going to church and, you know, the one we talked about, you going to Catholic church, you know? So I'm like, wow, this is just this is legendary, you know? Yeah. Do, do you know? Legacy. Because we were born in Africa, and then we immigrated to Australia, the Western countries, we thought we don't have story. We don't have to say anything. Always we taught Americans, we have to listen to them. Of course, they are brothers, they are blood, but our story is different. Powerful. Our background is different. Mm. That's what realized. And I said, oh, man, I can tell the story. I can remember everybody who grew up together. I can see how many things we grew up together. Even though we, we, we went in difficult times after the, the war, but that is still the story. Hmm? But you see, the fear we had, I maybe still have fear from my... A lot of people still do. People still. So that's why I want to, to see we bring up there. That was inspiration. That is, in two years, I never thought I can come sit here and talk. You, you know, there, there is something the other day I was the member. She gave me my life. And that's what the thing we had to share. So I remember when I went to Kenya. So we were like, because I mean, we immigrated to Kenya. Mm. The life was with Kenya. And I keep meeting people in Kenya. And then remember, I met many people in Kenya. And I could find somebody who was 30 or 40 years telling me about the school we went to. And for me, I used to wonder, why did this guy tell me, because I was from Rwanda, I didn't understand, why did this guy tell me the school we went to? So for me, I didn't bother. They did tell the story of school, I went to this school, or we do these things every year, you know, like, you know what you call it? That thing they do every school? Reunion. Reunion. Mm. See, that was in Kenya. Mm. And I came to Australia, I didn't even Australia, so I didn't bother what <laughs> said. But again, when I came to Australia, and I found people keep telling me the same thing, the same school. Like, I have somebody that telling me the school we went to in primary, and I couldn't understand why we could just say it. Hey, I got a question for you. Are you smart? Are you a visionary? Well, the fact that you are watching this podcast is a good thing. I got something to tell you. I know time is the most valuable asset, so I'm going to get straight to the point. Here at the Rubasha Family Podcast, we've been focused on consistent output, getting amazing and quality content out to the people who come and support. How can we add value to people's lives? Now, you could be a small business owner or entrepreneur who wants to be able to expand your visibility, get your product or service in front of as many people as possible. The day and age that we're in, social media, podcasts, the fact that they're growing so much on YouTube. YouTube is allocating more budget into the podcast section in media. 
Why can't you be smart? Why can't you get ahead of the competitors and put your advertisements, put your visibility, your brand in front of as many people as possible? You could actually be one of the ones who was really smart in order to take advantage of this opportunity and put your ads in one of our videos at our lower prices as they are now compared to what they will be as our audience continues to grow and expand as much as we're consistent. So if you're really interested in having an advertisement space or brand visibility at the Rabasha Family Podcast, Link is in the description, send us an email, and let's talk. Back to the video. Yeah, so, I was wondering, if people keep telling me where they went to school, why are you old and you tell, but now nah, that's what they realize, I say. Every time me, I didn't tell that I went to school also, but later that I say, oh, they, because Ian and Dada, they call me that, you do things there nicely, you write things there. So now also I remember, also I went to a school, you know, mm. a nice primary school, a nice school educated me, and I went to high school, and you know, mm. so that is how always we have to go back your history, and you see your story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I went to the best school in Rwanda in that time, and now you can see even to be where I am sitting here, so now I have to credit in that from primary school. That school was called Rugunga. It was just private school. And then I went to high school in a place called Bijimana. And then I came to high school, another one place, Upper Corp, who was private. But you see, that is my story. And those school, especially the Rugunga one, it teaches me a lot. It teaches me to become, not to become, now I realize that what I'm doing now is just starting from there. Yes. So everything didn't start in Australia. No. It started back home. Mm. From That's your childhood. From, yeah, from childhood. We forgot about that. So as our brother and sister, let's remember where we started, where we're coming from. You see, sometimes you people, especially when you're immigrant, people, when they see you, they see on the street, always they think they're up front on you in life. What do you mean they're above you? Yes. They, well, they have a good childhood than you because when they see you, you're Australian, they, they don't understand why you're here anyway. But, no. Or they think like you're lucky to be here. Yeah, you're lucky to be here. Oh, you didn't have the childhood. But when I look at my childhood and people tell me the story and they look, that is what triggered me. That's what changed me. Mm. See, it makes you powerful because mm. you hear the story People were struggling. People don't think that. You know, when we were kids, we never struggled. Yeah. But you see, I want to talk about that. And I think that's very powerful in what we're doing is because we are creating, curating our own reality. And for example, that, you know, those people, for example, here in Australia, they, they look at us African immigrants and they may think they're above us or, wow, you're lucky to be here. But I don't blame them. The only reason I say that is because that's what they see in the media when you know before this social media age has become so powerful you're given to what they show you they show you what they want you to see about africa they show you what you what they want you to see about the world and i think that's what's so powerful is because us creating our own media company now we can show positive images we can show you what life is like on our terms on on how we live our life how and how you had an amazing childhood or how you grew up you know so it's not we're not living a life based on what's been given to us through media or through propaganda we're curating this social media company not social media company but we're having this media platform to tell our stories yes, but also it had to come fast mm. from you mm. so you see the reason i changed i never realized i was so powerful i have a good upbringing so when i used to tell him the story i could able to bring mine because always i had the fear in me why see that's why we don't know so the fear now when it goes out mm. that is the key now mm. it's how you feel when you have this experience now say so, wow these people told me this this oh you are you are you are so privileged to be here and when 
everybody tell the, the school the childhood you find it much better but you never click straight away so you understand it later because maybe it's immigration or being because of uh, I don't know it's a mindset but now when you feel yourself now when you feel you go to think back now you see you're better than you you are better than anyone else you are like anyone else we are equal mm -hmm. but you see how to start from you in your mind you have to remember how your background you have to go back to talk to your mind how I was thinking of course you have different the other Africans who have different background they have the things in background but it's you you feeling mm -hmm. see when you're feeling you good on what you believe how you raise up you make your change mm. Mm -hmm. but of course the society is going to judge you but you see when you know yourself you don't even care about the society or what they're going to yeah. say yeah and and I, I just think that's why it's so powerful in what we're doing and one thing also i want to talk about is you know, I think also as, as black people, as Africans, we often see media as a form of entertainment. But you see, what white people did very well um, was they saw media as an opportunity. And as I've gone on to this podcast more and more, I've learned this is an opportunity. You know, this is an opportunity, not again, like you said, to, to give value, add value, but we can see this now as a business opportunity. We can create a media company. We can create schools teaching content creation. We can create so many things. ETS for Basha Media will be global. But also, again, why I say I feel, you know, as Africans, we need to start seeing this as an opportunity. Just for example, right? A lot of podcasts make money through sponsorships, right? So if you're a business owner, you know, you own a restaurant, you know, African or wherever you're from the background. But this is what I mean by opportunity. And you want your brand to be out there. You want to be able to market yourself. Podcasts, you know, it's, it's not like back in the day where there's in TV, you would have had to pay so much money to have advertisements on TV, you know, because you're like, how can I be able to get my brand, my restaurant, whatever it is out in front of so many people. But nowadays, the power of social media, like you said, phones, YouTube is TV, podcasts are one, two hour, three hour episodes. So now you can actually put your advertisements into podcasts. You can put your advertisements and your brand out there, especially one that's growing. And that's what we also want to advertise to people. Like you can actually sponsor episodes on a powerful podcast because what we're doing is I think is something so special is we're bringing family you know i think one thing i think is amazing about this podcast is usually a lot of podcasts they bring hosts celebrities entrepreneurs this and this but we're bringing regular people you mom aunties uncles to tell their stories and people are adding value through these stories and to be able to garner sponsorships people to have advertisements in these episodes that's growing is revolutionary Yes, so that's where we are starting to, to, to market it between ourselves, mm -hmm. to tell our story to the other community. So because we have been inspired by other community. We have been listening the story from other communities. So yeah. now we have to campaign as also to put platform to tell our story to the community to tell our journey to other community mm. to tell because you have different so the, the, the things I realize the, the Western people they take us in one basket no but again we can't blame them let's we stand up my brother and my sister let's we tell the story let's we change our background let's we change the way we are telling people let's we come we have you or only the things we used to have it's and I can see it's making always life hard for us. It's when you have different views, you become a war. We have been a war within each other for a long period of times. But that we got to learn. And as I say, as a family podcast, that's where we start. Because the wars in our community start from our family families mm -hmm. and that's why for me when i'm share this my podcast is experience of my life 
whatever you go to share it's what I experienced in my life and it's not something I want to learn from school I have a family I have a wife Rose Ian Eve and Emmanuel we have different belief and they way different belief and everybody also have different passion whatever we want to do so they they were started from there even you you know you have your family there the war started within the family mm-hmm. but you see the war you should not the, the the different belief you should not create enemies mm. yeah that that lesson you got to learn from us in africa the different belief it doesn't create enemy for example you can have a daughter and they know there's family who have been having that situation where a daughter married a different somebody different background or different religion or different th- something there he doesn't believe the pa- the family and the father of the mother say no we not call that wedding because he didn't follow the things there you see those small thinking those small tear apart family that is how we have to stop that mm-hmm. and the reason we go to stop that is just to talk about to it. talk about it have these conversations and it's it's so true like you know as, as parents like you said you know oh you we're not going to support the wedding and then it tears a wall between a family yes. where it easily could have been resolved if this person loves that person accept that because yes. one thing that is so important and what we're doing is and i think every family should have a company Every family should start in what they say in America LLC. Every family should start a corporation. The world is run by families. Yes, and, and that, that's what we're missing. But you see, the, the reason we miss that, even as it takes us time to think that, see, because I could say, oh, if I tell you, oh, you are working, everybody's working, I tell you, guys, can you save money and they send home to build back home? What are you going to say? You're going to say no. You're going to say no because you have the same, the different belief. Mm. So it's a simple study in the special diaspora. If you have a family of five or four, work together. Why, when I tell my kids or oh, bring your everybody's working, I don't ask you money to feed me, but I ask you money. Put the money we spend there. We invest back home. We build a house. We do thing there. Everybody is thinking you are crazy. Say why? It's a something you have to learn. It's something true. you have to educate. And we re-educate ourselves and our family. Mm. How can you with small things there we put back there? But of course there are family also who do this kind of thing. They are family being successful to invest back home. Mm. But you see what happened? They can open a platform like this and to tell us how they did it yeah my brother my sister bring good news bring good support you have done in your community to invest back home and then we do it and we should teach other one how, how to do it to be mm. done start yeah uh, you know starting podcast starting stuff like this is so powerful i think what you're saying is really true and even with me with my journey as well you know doing everything that i'm doing i then ki- I you helped me with that mindset then I started to Eve no 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 don't be selfish and and when I say that I say yes the fam like y- your dad needs help you even just to go and record something I might be doing something but and then I said oh, no you know what go and help dad record like this is part of the family legacy you know and it's it's so true and like you said how do we start is by bringing these conversations yes, this conversation is going to help us and everybody it's easy it's a plan it's not easy but it's mm. to think about it see we have people in the airport everywhere around the world you know we generation to generation educated working hard in every industries it is what we need now it is what we inspired now mm. and and when somebody create something and we know his background is back from africa we support even though sometimes the belief could be different 
but the support is there yeah. to come support each other from us. Mm-hmm. Yes. and that's why you know even with a, any african especially within our community any entrepreneurs any businesses this is a way as well dad that we can you know through sponsorships we can help so not only can we help in terms of the value the inspiration the, the family the bringing t- together of, of families like we say and having these conversations that that daughter who's watching maybe you talk and maybe who doesn't have a father figure you know and she's watching what you're saying and she feels that or maybe she does and she maybe doesn't agree with certain things from her parents but she agrees and resonates with something from this podcast like this is so powerful but not only that we can also influence and help companies and people small business owners who have their business idea they they have their product that they can reach a lot of people we can also help them and say they can come back and be like man your podcast has has gone viral and we've had advertisements in your podcast our business has now grown so we like this is something i think is monumental and revolutionary and that we can just like you said how many people can we serve Hey guys, I know you're enjoying this video. Let me quickly tell you about this product that we have. It's a cling wrap, foil, and baking paper organizer. It will organize your drawer. If you're anything like me, you have that drawer in the kitchen that you know you open and it's just like so messy. It has like a foil box and a, you know all of that messy stuff. This product will put everything in one. You can slide your products in and really easy to access, easy to use, easy to cut. Get it, link in the video. a lot and, and as i say we're talking about this experience because when you talk of experience of life and when you talk of experience to raise our kids and what our children see in the media is different what as we have been brought up and now what our children see mm. in news or in the music industry always they have to see American style, American things there. So Africans, we can't motivate our children because we don't have nothing to show them. So now, I remember when I bring my kids, we see the music, we see everything there. American lampers, they wear the pants under under their bum down there. So if our children come to Australia, what you show on the TV and everybody compares like African Americans, so that's what we saw. We told this is African, but that's not. But you see, that is a war I used to have. You know, I could take Ian, he, he put his pants down because he saw in the TV. Emmanuel, he put the belt under the TV. See, it's a war to take somebody like that in church when the pants is like there. But you see, that whole show how African. Or black people they look at, but, but see, remember, they're different Africans mm, than African Americans. African Americans. But you see, that's what African Americans have done so well. You see, their culture is so contagious. It's They'll, not a culture; they damage. No, no, but no, th- that that's not really damaging because mm. they're that's life from their point of view. That's their their like what the media in America has been so powerful and they've marketed it so well. But it's also at the time is again who's in control of the media i think now is, it's a bit different because back then it's what they want us to see even white companies putting african americans what do you see every time you see african american on tv it's a criminal they're in jail like you said the yeah. pants you can wear no more pants you can wear a suit mm, so for yeah me, I, I no business suit, owners and then they take my children my kids to go to church and then he put his pants down there you see that, that so they damage our I don't know what we can call I it. I wouldn't say But you damage. see that that was difficult to, to deal with kids. You hey, you can't wear this there. And the children look at you, kids look at you, something like that. But you see, that is our experience. But now, luckily now when they grow up, also they learn, no, this is nothing that so that the thing I can tell the parents, no, let the kids wear whatever they want to see in the T V. Mm. But when they grow up that thing changed. I mm. can see Ian, he wear a suit. Emmanuel now, they can't wear those kind of things there. But you see, that is marketing. How now we go to put our marketing as Africans, mm. our belief, mm. and our, what we think it should be 
like that our stories and i think like that that's just what's so great about this like we we can influence people we can help people like we're now in control you know i'm very wary of of how i spend my time very wary of how i spend my time and i think even when i started this podcast another reason why it resonated with me so well because i was like well obviously i have football and i'm doing my youtube channel but now this podcast is another way to keep my time locked in on creating our world and as we got into it i saw not only can you make a whole lot of money and this can be something so powerful as a business you know what i mean but again it's just like how can i how can we put or i put my time into something that's valuable for me for my family that i can run my story instead of being locked in on everyone else's story instead of watching in on everything else every moment of every day is like how can i grow this podcast how can i grow my personal brand you know and, and i think that's really powerful even with you the conversations that we have in, in this house you know your environment they say environment is stronger than nature your environment is stronger than nature and that's why it's very important the people that you talk to on the phone every everyone that is if if people around you are motivated and empowering that is what you're going to do so us even now bringing this into the house even now our conversations we're not just having of course father and son but we dad okay what's your idea okay that's a great idea let's do that dad hey you know and then this is something that we can be proud of 200 years from now look at what we've done from up yes. until now so this is the new venture so this is the background again this is what we've been brought up mm. so the, the, to bring this new venture is not something you started from in the street mm. it's something i started from back home mm. my father was entrepreneur mm. all friends everybody has seen it our everybody entrepreneur so you have to bring to your kids. That's how we started from. So that is the new venture. You see it when you are kids. You see, we are doing different marketing, but it's in our mind. It's something we see 50 years ago. And that's why I bring it to you, to, to ourselves, to the family, because it's, it's, it's the roots. And that's why I keep also telling my friends, we let's go back let's we do share this thing there let's we work together as africans and you see when you build this in you it's more powerful when you know you are the same like anyone else to have good life to have what you want to do what you want you see this grace of god we equal to get a good life but as long we put our mm -hmm. mind to, 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 to it and i think you're also it's also an inspiration for parents you know sometimes as parents you guys are, i'm not a parent or i'm not at your age which is still a very young age but you may think like not my time is done but you know i'm just here you know supporting my children da, da, da. you're just in your prime you know it's never too late to start something look at you you're now on yes. camera having these conversations dad you've you've been going viral on the internet with your talks yes but again you remember also our great grandfathers they used to do that but you see they never used to do that on like a platform like this one so they used to sit with the youth to tell them the stories and yeah so see that where now back home we we, we went behind than, than Americans or Western because them they like the story see because when they like the story it, it never changed but as our sisters our great grandfathers so when they used to tell the story and then the other they can't tell the story but you see when you tell the story so the time the first the second and third generation the story change change but yeah. but so that what we're missing mm, that we're missing mm, at least that what this opportunity now is coming mm, now guys let's we go back let's we start bringing our story mm, let's we bring the story you could remember mm, so we can tell you now that's Vegas now so now my kids your great grandchildren they go to see the story like this as it is thousands of years later thousands years, years later, yeah our kids no kids go to change mm, yes but as we miss our parents, our great, great 
parents. Guys, the one who still have parents, go back to them. Take the story. Listen to them. And they still have that. See? They still have that. Mm. They are maybe 100 years, 80, 70 years. That's a powerful. Powerful. Guys, go to record your parents. Mm. Go to talk to your parents. You tell the story for our generation. As Africans, we need to bring our story. We need to inspire ourselves. We need to bring what we have. What we went through. The journey, because God has created something. Your journey, it's your journey. Eve. You see, you are here. We raise three kids. Your journey is your journey. Emmanuel is his journey. Ian, this is John. Can you see now? See? You are 23, 27. You three kids, you have different John and you have been raised in this Western world. Mm -hmm. How is that? It's the same. Me, my brother and my sister. Different John completely. No one. We are billion of people hmm? in this world. Billions. No one have the same jam. See, that will keep saying, our mind is our God. Mm. Our mind is everything. No one is going to have the same jam at all. And, and that's what makes it so special. Your it's, journey is unique. It's your, unique. Your journey will gravitate to people. Your journey can make someone smile. It can make someone cry. Yes. You know, and, and what you're saying, like you said, like, and I think one thing I realized and why I love this podcast is, like you said, our grandfather our grandfathers our ancestors would sit down and tell their stories maybe to their children and, and laugh and people you know which is great but we can do that but we just put the camera there yes we just put the camera yeah, there and they're going to be there for for years but our that, kids that, will see that, this what i'm saying is we, we okay. lost the my motivation speaker never got that he recorded 1930 and for them it was not video it was a cassette i read his books yes but us the people who have been that age, they never recorded anything. Anything. But mm. they have life. They have experience. They have everything as the same as him. You see? And you see, always when we came, we immigrant. We, there's another things we have. We feel inferiority to people we meet here. And then when you come, you talk to people, you wonder, oh, what? See, so to build that confidence, it takes times. It takes times. Mm -hmm. See, that is another issue there. That's where it's our mind had to change. So my, my mind changed because of COVID. So this venture now, this is the thing here. This is the consequence of, I can't know if I can call consequence, but this is the, 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 mm. the, 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 the COVID yeah. inspiration. Mm. Mm. It, it all if came. If it was not COVID, you may, maybe mm, we're sitting we will not be sitting here. Talk about like this together. Mm. Mm. And I think it just it just matched again. And and as I said, I think what we're doing and being able to just have that mind to keep marketing. And I, even with the social media marketing, like I still see, you know, for businesses that's powerful. But I'm telling you, this age that we're living in, you know, Facebook Reels, Instagram, YouTube Shorts. Now, what's more happening is people's algorithms are showing them what they want to see the content that they're looking for so someone's scrolling and maybe they're into parents or into cheating da, 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 and then they see a video of you talking you know and that is an ad advertisement in itself because then now they click on the podcast they click on the episode now we have sponsors within our show we have things that we want to be able to sell to our audience or things that we can add value to people that's how we're marketing hey i've got a question for you are you smart are you a visionary? Well, the fact that you are watching this podcast is a good thing. I got something to tell you. I know time is the most valuable asset, so I'm gonna get straight to the point. Here at the Rubasha Family Podcast, we've been focused on consistent output, getting amazing and quality content out to the people who come and support. How can we add value to people's lives? Now, you could be a small business owner or entrepreneur who wants to be able to expand your visibility, get your product or service in front of as many people as possible. The day and age that we're in, social media, podcasts, the fact that they're growing so much on YouTube. YouTube is allocating more budget into the podcast section in media. 
Why can't you be smart? Why can't you get ahead of the competitors and put your advertisements, put your visibility, your brand in front of as many people as possible? You could actually be one of the ones who was really smart in order to take advantage of this opportunity and put your ads in one of our videos at our lower prices as they are now compared to what they will be as our audience continues to grow and expand as much as we're consistent. So if you're really interested in having an advertisement space or brand visibility at the Rabasha Family Podcast, Link is in the description, send us an email, and let's talk. Back to the video. Yeah, so very, very um, interesting and powerful conversation, Dad. Thank you so much for, um, again, coming and taking your time for us to have a chat. And just keep, like you said, spreading awareness. You know, I think a lot of people will be inspired from this episode and, like, start a podcast. You know, why not? Yes, to, to, to share our story, to, 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 to market our story. So I, I think that's the way of the, the, the other communities that have been ahead for us. They know how to market. Mm. They know how to market their story. They know how to market their belief. They know how to market how to teach their, te- their teachings. Yeah. Mm. So we've been behind that there. But this opportunity from the podcast we put together. And again, it's a war. It's a, it's a challenge. It's mm. a, keeping our mind up there mm, every day is you got it you know every day every day i wake up it's like i have to do something towards the podcast you know it's it's not easy and and even when we're successful even when we're a multi-million dollar company every single day there's work that's got to be done and i think that that's very important um thank you so much dad i think this again was an amazing conversation and uh, we will see you guys in the next video um please um yeah keep supporting keep subscribing and we thank you guys very much thank you thank you